Hotel rooms tough to find after barrel as folks without power seek shelter from the heat. Get this, some Houstonians are even driving all the way to Austin, San Antonio, and even farther to find a room. Some of them, though, received a very rude welcome when they arrived. Sherman Chow is here to explain. Sherman. Yeah, Mia, you know, viewers telling us that they make a reservation for a Houston hotel room only to arrive and find there is no power. In fact, in one case, a viewer says that the desk clerk's response was, well, you didn't say you wanted a room with AC. Houstonian Timothy Loving drove 250 miles past Fort Worth to find his first hotel room. The next day, he went online and found a room at the Holiday Inn Express Galleria, much closer to home. This is his reservation, so he drove 250 miles back to find that hotel was dark. They didn't tell me anything about the hotel not having power on their reservation notice. You were high. Both literally and figuratively. And so is Sherry Lane. She contacted us on the KHOU Your Voice line. Sherry made this reservation for her sister, also at a Holiday Express Inn. This one in spring. She specified she wanted AC. They got the reservation only to leave their hot homes and go to the hotels and they have failed to tell them that they have no AC. So could the hotels please cease and desist this type of bad behavior? We checked, and some hotels do show online that they don't have power. Others, like the Holiday Express in Galleria, do not. So we contacted the Texas Hotel and Lodging Association for some help. And it is incumbent upon those lodging operators to notify their hotel brands if they don't have availability because of electricity. Um, and sometimes they have failed to do that. Because they may be dealing with power and computer outages as well. Hotels are often franchised from big chains. So if you weren't notified of power issues before your arrival, Justin Bragle says you can complain to the parent chain. Hotel companies run very robust customer support uh, centers and will offer, may offer compensation. If there is a, an issue that where the hotel is not maintaining its brand standards, that hotel chain may have the ability to sanction the franchise in some cases. And you can also contact the Texas Hotel and Lodging Association, ask them to investigate. We've asked them to look into Timothy and Sherry's cases as well. And of course, before all of this, we contacted the parent company of the Holiday Inn Express. That's going to be the Intercontinental Hotels Group, IHG. We contacted them yesterday asking for a reply. I haven't heard back yet. Live here in the Houston area, Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News. Poor Timothy, both hot literally and figuratively, as he said. Sherman Chow tonight, thank you.